alaikum and welcome to Titli's Busy Kitchen with me, Titlini Han. Today I'm going to cook salmon on crude, which simply means salmon in pastry. But at the end of this recipe, you're going to sit there, open mouthed, saying, I can do that. There's enough here for two to three people, depending upon how hungry or how greedy you are. I've got a 350 gram piece of salmon fillet that's been skinned. 250 grams of ready-made puff pastry, or you can use short crust pastry, that's up to you. 125 grams of low-fat green cheese, because my diet starts today. The juice of half a lemon and the grated zest of half a lemon. And a quarter of a cup of fresh dill, or a tablespoon of dried dill. We'll start off by mixing together the cream cheese, the juice and the zest of the lemon, and the dill to make a sort of creamy sauce. There's just something about lemon and dill with salmon. Mm, mm, mm. I've lightly floured a surface and I'm going to roll out my pastry to about 8 inches by 12 inches. OK, that looks good. Now spoon the gunk onto the salmon. That's nice. Then take your piece of salmon and put it gunk side down in the middle of your pastry. Then brush the edges of the pastry with some water. Now we're going to wrap this like we'd wrap a parcel. So fold that up, fold up this side. Brush plenty of water onto the edges because you'll have some excess flour on there. Fold over the corners, press them down. Then you can trim the edges a bit, get rid of any excess pastry, dampen the edges again, and dampen where you're going to fold the edges to, then fold up, press firmly, then turn the whole thing the right way up. Now you can use a teaspoon to make some fish scale sort of patterns on the top of the pastry. Cut a few little slits in to make sure that steam can escape. Then brush with a little bit of milk. This will help the pastry to go brown. Or you can use beaten egg if you like. Or if you prefer anemic looking pastry, don't brush it with anything. Now put the parcel on a baking tray. And we'll put this into an oven at 200 degrees C for about 30 minutes. And lo and behold, 30 minutes later, a lovely puffed up parcel. Delicious salmon on croute. Serve with new potatoes and a vegetable of your choice. In my case, asparagus. The great thing about that recipe is it's so versatile. You can add almost anything you like into the cream cheese. Maybe some different herbs, some cracked black pepper, a little teaspoon of mustard, maybe some Thai red curry paste. It's all up to your imagination. Imagination. Nope. Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Han. Until next time, Huda Happen!